Good morning. Thanks for tuning in to Chamber Chat with your hosts, Courtney Galley and Samantha Good with the Conroe, Lake Conroe Chamber of Commerce. I am one of your hosts, Courtney Galley. Samantha and I will chat about the Conroe Chamber's upcoming events and programs for this month. Relax with a cup of joe or your favorite drink. And now, Chamber Chat with your host, Courtney Galley and Samantha Good. Good morning. Welcome to Chamber Chat. Chamber Chat is a morning radio show where we chat about the Conroe Lake Conroe area. Oh, I just totally already messed up today. It's one of those days <laughs> of the Conroe Lake Conroe Chamber of Commerce upcoming events and business organizations. Um, I'm one of your hosts, Courtney Galley, Director of Program Development. And I'm Samantha Good, Director of Membership Development. We're also having some technical difficulties over here today, but we'll, we'll Technical get, difficulties or reading host difficulties. Host difficulties, you just name it. I'm waiting for my coffee to kick in. Um, the Chamber is a nonprofit organization with a mission of serving Conroe, Willis, and Montgomery communities to improve economic development and the quality of life. The Chamber is made up of more than a thousand members of these business communities. The Chamber provides members various monthly networking events, educational seminars, cost-effective marketing opportunities, as well as finds ways to give back to the community it serves. The Chamber has been in business for um, 81 years. The purpose of this show is to inform listeners of the monthly events of the Chamber and to promote our members. Each month, guests will be brought on to talk about what is happening in the Chamber and get the inside scoop of our members and what they do and what has made their company successful. I hope you have your cup of coffee or a margarita since it's Cinco de Mayo because we have a great lineup this morning. Our first guest today is Lloyd Sandifer, Vice President of the Conroe Professional Firefighters Association. Hello, Lloyd. Good we morning. are glad to have you. Hello. Good morning, ladies. Okay, technical difficulties solved. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Ready? Go. Yeah. <laughs> so, Lloyd, not only... <laughs> we can only, hear you now. We can hear you now. <laughs> Lloyd not only is joining us today, but he also brought us presents. We he have did. Some, nice, some nice sombreros and other gifts that will be for later. After hours. Yes. After our they gifts. Look, they look amazing, by the way. They do. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. So, Lloyd, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and why you became a firefighter? Well, um, why I became a firefighter, um, I have a lot of family members that are firefighters. My dad's a retired Beaumont firefighter, and I have uncles and uh, cousins that are firefighters. So, um, you know, just one of those things, I guess, that runs in the family kind of mm-hmm. deal. Yeah. So, that's it. Um, well, what is, so you work for the Conroe Professional Firefighters Association. Yes. So what is well, that? Tell, well, tell our audience what I work for the Conroe Fire Department, okay. and I'm the vice president of our Firefighters Association. Okay, so what is the it's association? Not a job. I wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those volunteer jobs that pays yeah, the goose egg. It is. It is. We just represent all the Conroe firefighters, um, mm-hmm. you know, um, as far as our uh, safety and mm-hmm. and uh, benefits and stuff like that. But we also do a lot of work in the uh, local community as far oh, okay. as raising funds and uh, for different charities and, and things like that. Great. Tell us about some of the different things that you guys do. Because, you know, you have firefighter coats for kids. And yeah, we do oh. We do coats for kids every year. We usually um, pick a school, and mm-hmm. the school, you know, um, tells us what their needs are, and then um, we provide them with, we provide those kids with brand new, never worn before coats made especially nice. for them. And uh, that's probably one of my favorites. I love yeah. doing that because um, um, we started that a couple of years ago, and, and we've continued to do it because it's just a really good deal, and the kids love it. Well, now, most imagine. of those kids that get new coats, they've never had anything new in their life, so, um, and they love it. They see the oh, look on yeah. their face when you give them a mm-hmm. new coat that's theirs, and we write their name in it, and it's, uh, it's all theirs. So it's theirs. They have ownership That's one thing we do. Yeah, um, yeah. We do work with the Muscular Dystrophy Association, and we do, um, uh, last year we started the Pink Hills Tour. We, I don't know if anybody saw the pink fire trucks come through town, but um, oh. we raised money for... Um, uh, some um, different cancer charities there, and, and we helped wow. uh, raise some money for the Lone Star Family Clinic. That was last November, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that going to be like a yearly thing that you guys do? Uh, like hopefully, hopefully so. That that tour comes out of Phoenix, Arizona. Those trucks come uh-huh. out of Phoenix, and they tour the country. And Conroe just happened to be on their route this year, and we uh, put together a little function for them. And uh, hopefully mm-hmm. we'll be on their route again this year. I would like to do it annually. So that yeah. would be neat. That, good, that is. We missed it people. last year going out to it, but I know I know Angela went out. But I would love to see a pink fire truck. Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah, truck. it's really amazing because the these these pink fire trucks travel all over the country, and then you know at their huh. stops in the cities, you know breast cancer survivors or uh, people that's 
been affected by yeah. cancer of any kind, their family member, they get to actually sign the truck and write a little note on the oh, truck. Oh, really? So That's on these neat. trucks, oh. there's thousands of signatures oh, wow. and little, wow. um, you know, Bible verses or little stories, yeah. a short, you know, a couple of sentences. It's really, really impressive <laughs> to see these trucks. Bless you. Sorry, so. I'm suffering from allergies today as well. <laughs> Happy Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. So anyway, it's really... <laughs> Happy Sneezo de Mayo. <laughs> there you go. Oh, but I'm pumped. There you go. So anyway, that's a really good one. And then our biggest one here uh, every year, it's so our fifth year to do it, is uh, the Fire Up the Bands. And that's... Uh, oh, yes. I'm excited yeah. to hear about all the details for oh, this. Oh, it's coming up this month, May 30th, and uh, this is our fifth year to do it. Um, you know, every year we put together, a, it's, a, it's an all-day concert event. And uh, we pick a charity that, that we give the money to. And mm-hmm. this year, the money's going to the Montgomery County Youth Services, which is a very good, very deserving charity. We, we really like them a lot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So give us some detailed information about Fire the Bands, what it is, who's coming, the cost, what what, what all you can do there. Okay. Where it's well, at. Fi- well, Fire Up the Bands this year is May 30th. Okay. It's a Saturday. Mark it's your calendars Saturday. right now. Yeah, Get mark out your, your phone. calendars. Put it in. Yep. It is, it's going to be the biggest show so far. Um, Saturday, May 30th on Papa's, uh, at Papa's on the Lake. Um, it's going to be an all-day event. We've got six bands. Uh, mm-hmm. We do raffle, giveaways, uh, door prizes, oh, wow. and a live auction as well. Um, you can find us on Facebook. We've got a Facebook page for out the bands. Um, Roger Crager is our headliner. William Love Clark Green. Love Roger Crager. Uh, Josh Fuller, uh, Casey Royer, and um, Chubby Knuckle Choir, and John Slaughter. That's all six. That is a great that lineup. <laughs> that is. So, okay, yeah. So it's a really good lineup. It's a big lineup. Um, we bring in a big stage. Mm-hmm. We put it out behind the pool at, at Papa's. Oh, okay. It's going to be a good production. Mark Taylor, he does all our production stuff. So um, it's going to be a big show. So everybody come out. Yeah. And all of the proceeds will go to uh, All of it goes to. Everything. Yeah, all that is profits. awesome. So 100% of We don't of keep the any proceeds. of it. So, That's yeah, great. We pay the bills and we give them all the right. money. So. Well, if somebody wants to go, how much are tickets? Um, tickets pre-sale, you can go online at outhousetickets.com mm-hmm. and buy your ticket for $15, or at the door wow. is $20. So. That is cheap. That is cheap yeah, for, for, for six. that for lineup six, and but, yeah. all day long. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. I know, and I know all day, It sounds that's a long day of uh, music. So, you know, if people want to come and have lunch and listen to music, uh-huh. once you buy your ticket, you get a wristband, you can oh, come and go all night. Because Roger Craig oh, won't come on until late, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. So, um, if you want to come and have lunch and maybe see the live auction and then yeah. go, you know, and then come back later, uh-huh. you can come and go all day. Once you pay, get your wristband. Wow. Oh my keep gosh. your wristband on, you can come yeah. on. Yeah. So. You can't get that anywhere else. Yeah. No, free, free parking at Papa's on the Lake. So. Oh, yeah. and if you haven't been to Papa's on the Lake, that's an icon in Lake Conroe. You have to go for that. Just oh, to yeah. be able to. It's I a great atmosphere. I actually have never been to Papa's oh, on the Lake. Okay. I've seen what? lots of pictures and I'm excited to it. go. It's and what other re- better reason than fire yeah, up the band? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. We always have a lot of fun. All the firefighters are out there. Mm-hmm. And the Another community. reason to go. Yeah. The yes. firefighters. Mm-hmm. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. The, the community really has a good time. I have a good time there. And, and it's a lot of fun. We make yeah. it fun. So. What kind of stuff is in the live auction? Um, Typically is what we do every year since um, we've started was do like, um, we do two guitars, autographed guitars, mm-hmm. one usually by the headliner right. uh, alone, and then the other guitar is signed by every uh, band that plays at Fire Up the Bands for that year. Um, um, last year we had Wilkie's from Wilkie's Fire mm-hmm. Pits donated a fire pit, so they're going to do that again this year. Nice. Cool. Okay. And we have some pretty cool yeah. you know, different things. So. That's really cool. That's kind of, to me, somebody with the, an autographed guitar, that's a that's priceless. You can't right. put a value it's on that kind of It's a lot of fun. Stuff. It's a lot of fun. And I've kind of regretted not bidding for that and winning that every year. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. It's pretty neat. It's, but, um, and we have a lot of the um, local commu- um, the community uh, businesses that will donate mm-hmm. some of their goods and services. Good. And, and that we will um, raffle off and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. So. so if you're a business out there and you want to help out the community and help out a great local charity, um, you know, contact Lloyd and, and, and get a donation out there. I think that yeah, would be great have, to help support. We have some really great. Um, local businesses out yeah. here that really donate. And really I, do. I really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. And I know you guys have some amazing sponsors, including First we Bank. We really do. First Bank, they've been our uh, title sponsor since our second year. The first year, we didn't have as many. We They got on board the uh, second year, but they've been on board ever since, and they've been our title sponsor ever since. So, um, And they really work hard for us as well. Um, That's First fantastic. Bank and Andrew Cantu and Sam Baker and uh, mm-hmm. Wendy Baker over at First Bank. They really, they're, they're, really vital to what we do and they've really launched mm-hmm. fire up the bands from when it started yeah and we raise uh, tens of thousands of dollars now for you know yeah. 
Without their help, we couldn't do they're what good, we do. They're good people over there. They are really good yeah. people. Yeah. And they're really involved in the community and give a lot back to the community. Right. They not only help us with fire up the bands, but throughout the year, they help us with a, a lot of our, we do all our business with them. Yeah. The association does. And, and oh, they're, yeah. they're good people over there. They are. That is good. And I know that this will be, this being your fifth year, you guys will be, have donated over $70,000 back yeah. to local charities just on this event alone. So wow. it's, it's a very successful event and it's a fun event at the same time. And so we, we look forward to seeing what you guys, what you guys do there. Yeah. I hope to year. see y'all out there and, and, and it's a lot of fun. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Um, so I kind of want it, this is going to be off, off the script as well, but, um, do you have any like exciting firefighting stories to tell? <laughs> like you rescued you know, a, you know. Do you have any blackmail photos as well? Do you well, have any, actually, I think people are interested. I mean, great things. These are actually, these I are people. always fun on the radio, is what I've heard. Well, yeah. actually, I do. Yeah, those blackmail <laughs> videos that or photos they came out last year, and um, I think those are those are pretty good. I can whip those out again. Those are. <laughs> um, I don't. John Riddle, he's our association president. And um, mm-hmm. he was at one time back in the, I think, um, I don't know, probably early 90s, I guess. The yeah. Firefighters Association did a firefighter calendar. Oh. I actually have been asked if you guys, I was talking about <gasps> the Firefighters Association to somebody. I don't remember who it was, and they probably don't want me to name names. But they actually won a calendar. Is that something you guys ever would do again? Um, possibly. Do do? We, Why don't you do you it? Know, yeah. Well, for one, it takes 12 really good looking men. <laughs> And I don't think that would be more to find. <laughs> I don't know. I, you need to come visit our fire station. You might be thinking, well, you could do a six-month calendar or, you know, a fiscal calendar. So, yeah. Um, or you can do like a big and tall kind of deal, you know. It's, so, yeah. Charity. It goes to the charity. Yeah, it's, right. It's, it's, right. It's, it's for yeah. the kids. It's for that it's for the kids. I don't know people. if y'all have ever seen that movie Chuck and Larry or whatever, but they did a calendar uh-huh. towards the end of the movie. Yeah. I don't know if you remember, but anyway, that's probably what ours would be like. So. I'm sure that, that any any calendar you guys would do would be successful. Or, you yes. know, I don't think that, oh, you know, women out there want to see the same three firemen over and over and over. So we might have about, you know, three. They could do, you know, rotate months or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know that it was so. Yeah. Yeah. We I only know. have a couple that are. Big buff, you know, calendar boys. <laughs> you could do it like spoofs, like spoofs of things. Now that, that now funny. that would be that a good, good one. That we could would do be like funny. A, yeah, we could do. I, yeah, I yeah. say aim more towards funny than anything else. Yeah, that would be fantastic. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, we could do a spoof calendar. That would probably mm-hmm. work. I think that would be very cute. <laughs> so you don't have any? Do you have any stories you can tell on the radio about? Like, what was? Mm. Do you remember your first fire that you went to? Yeah, I don't know. I really don't remember my first fire. Um, I don't Isn't know. that the I right mean, lingo? Your first fire? That's the most, right lingo? Huh? Yeah, yeah. You, you sound very first technical. Fire. Okay, thank it you. It is. Yeah, yeah we've, made, we've made, you know, several here in Conroe. A lot of the really funny stories I probably can't tell on the air. Oh, um, man. But uh, I'm not, I can't think of anything offhand that. I wasn't prepared. I, oh. I could, I, that'd take me a while to sit here and think about, about a good one mm-hmm. that's clean humor. That's, <laughs> that's it's usually not, they're not mm-hmm. always clean. They usually <laughs> involve like uh, people uh, mm, doing crazy things. Doing yeah. crazy uh, things. Yeah. Yeah. You that's know, here lately, story. I know. Yeah. I know one one thing that um, uh, it's not really funny, but <laughs> it's <laughs> actually a problem. Like this, this is the beginning of like a sad story. <laughs> but you know. There, it is it was, the problem lately is we we see a lot of kids and adults even uh, nowadays doing this synthetic marijuana and that oh yeah it's really not good that's a bad bad thing that's been going around and the kids get a hold of this stuff and it's not good for them but from our point of view the people that take this stuff and we have to deal with them it it brings some crazy stories with it oh, so imagine. just the way it makes them act and yeah people but, you don't um, want to be the subject of one of lloyd's we stories call it this. we call yeah. it zombie drug because it Ooh. makes people look like zombies and walk like and just it's crazy yes yeah, so oh my gosh wanna, but now but funny stories i had to tell y'all when we when, off we, the when air. we cut yeah <laughs> off the uh, air yeah we'll i've already got in trouble once from dick <laughs> telling stories i don't know i don't know <laughs> <laughs> 
Floyd is still allowed on the radio. <laughs> I know. I don't, I don't think he, y'all keep inviting me It's good me entertainment. Back. <laughs> it's good entertainment. Maybe it's because we didn't tell Dick that he was coming on beforehand. He might have been coming <laughs> Yeah, he did look surprised when I walked in. Like, what? Why is this guy here? Oh, my goodness. Um, well, what, yeah. do you, what do you like most about being a firefighter? You know, the, the thing I like most about it is the camaraderie, um, mm-hmm. the brotherhood and, yeah. um, uh, that you get with the guys that you work with. We live in... We live and eat and sleep with their, each right. other 24 hours at a time. Yeah. So, um, and for years at a time. So, um, the the relationships that you that you form with mm-hmm. not only them but their families, their right. wives, and you kids, become a big family yourself. You really do. Yeah. I, a lot of my buddies, their kids, they're like my kids. You know, when they yeah. see me, they, you know, I see them. It's yeah. it's one of those things that that's that's probably my favorite part. And, and you know, it's it's rewarding at times. Mm-hmm. Uh, at times, not so much. You know, it's Right. You know, we deal with a lot of sad and uh, traumatic things sometimes, yeah. but um, that's part of it too. But um, but it, there is a lot of reward that comes yeah. with it. Um, you know, being able to do these like charity events and mm-hmm. and helping someone even on an emergency call is that's very rewarding. Yeah. You take that back with you and and yeah. think about it. And you know, I have a kid, and uh, you know, yeah. um, to be able to help you know kids, young adults, adults, you know, elderly, it's 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 rewarding. So. Yeah. There's a lot of rewards that come with yeah. being a firefighter. It doesn't, it's not always, you're not going to be a millionaire, but right. um, but it's 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 a uh, it's a humble job. Yeah. I like it. What always amazed me was, um, you know, kind of people or you hear that saying, you know, you you see these men running into a men, sorry, and women, you know, running into a burn. Who runs into a burning building? You know, I when mean, everybody else is running out. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, you know, we the chamber definitely supports our firefighters um well, in the area and um our local law enforcement i mean we really appreciate what y'all do well thank to the you com- thank you we you know the cops to protect us and also help you know help the community out by doing this fundraiser too I mean, oh yeah well, well thank you we have a pretty a pretty fun relationship with our our cops here too our yeah. police officers you know it's always a sorry like it's a Right. Like a battle, that, you know. <laughs> but uh, I'm a cop, cops, fireman, and yeah, uh, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty good relationship. And uh, if I had a, a a dime for every time I heard a cop say, "Man, I wish I would have been a fireman," <laughs> I could I would be rich. But <laughs> but now they help us a lot, and they're yeah. and they're good they're good folks too over there. So um, am I wrong? And do you guys have an event that's like a a sporting game b- between the fire oh. uh, well, officers well, and well, Conroe? Well, we did. There, there there's been a couple of them, uh, but. Years ago, they they did one. I, don't, I think it was called um, uh, Dogs and Hogs or something softball tournament. Oh, okay. Uh, but, uh, but we haven't done that in a while. Um, um, and we've had you know different uh, softball events like that, that yeah. where the cops will play the firemen, and and uh, those are always fun. We've yeah, <clears throat> we have talked about uh, doing some other things. Uh, mm-hmm. I've met with some guys here lately, and we've. We've talked about doing some things together, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. But nothing really has gone anywhere with any of that, so no, yeah. no big plans. So yeah. But, um, well, why don't you tell our audience how they can again? Um, we're uh, give them a recap of the event, tell them where they can purchase tickets and all that good stuff. Okay, uh, like I said, fire up the bands. Uh, it's our charity event, uh, May thir- uh, May thirtieth, right? Did I say yes. that right? Yes, yeah, Saturday. <laughs> Saturday, May thirtieth. I'm sorry, and uh, is that Papa's on the Lake? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's out there on Lake Conroe, um, $15 uh, pre-sale mm-hmm. at outhousetickets.com, uh, $20 at the door. Um, our link uh, to, directly to our ticket sales mm-hmm. is on our Facebook page, okay. uh, Fire Up the Bands. Um, you can look us up there and get all the updates and, and, great. and link to my tickets. We'll post the link on our, on our Chamber Facebook page as well. Yep, that'll be great. Yeah, so you oh, can thank you, thank you. Yeah. Be, and I always, <clears throat> I always encourage people to buy a ticket even if they can't come to the event. Right. Because mm-hmm. it's technically a donation to... Yeah, of course. So I mean, that's, yeah. that's easy. I have family that live out of town and they, they can't yeah. come and they always buy tickets. So they always buy tickets to the event. So right. that's an easy way to that get online really way. quick and make a donation. That's what I call it. Yeah. So, oh, of um, course. That's great. Yeah, that's a great way of thinking about it and help to support that event mm-hmm. yeah. um and we actually get a really good uh, response from people doing that yeah so. okay so get online and do that today even if you can't go or you think you may not be able to go yeah and we're also and uh, to put this out there too we're also still looking for sponsorship opportunities oh, great. as yes. well um, um all our sponsorship donations are you know it's, gonna, it's a tax yes. write-off for a non-profit um but we do still try to pay the bills ahead of time right so that way 
everything the day of goes directly. Goes directly. We don't want to have to pay bills and mm -hmm. correct. And which which we usually do really well with yeah. with underwriting the event up until before the day of the event. Yeah. So, but we're still this year since we're going big for our right. fifth anniversary. We got a big lineup. We still have a few bills to pay. So, okay. if anyone out there wants to be a sponsor, uh, well, you'll get some good name recognition yep. the day of the event. So that's great. Yes, and a great way to. Again. Great way to give back. Yes. It's a great or both organizations are yes. great between Montgomery County Youth Services and the Conroe Professional Firefighters Association. It is a, a great partnership and yeah. No no better way to spend your sponsor dollars. Right. Well yeah, thank you. Yeah. Great. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, happy Cinco de Mayo. Oh, and if you are interested in a sponsorship, email Lloyd. Yeah, email at me at F Sandifer, S S A N D E F E R at Yahoo.com. That's also on our Facebook page mm -hmm. and in the new Conroe um, FYI. In the Conroe FYI. Yes, find us the Conroe Courier. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. Check out that article on there too. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Good job. Ladies. Thank you. Thank you for joining go. us. We appreciate Thank that. Thank you, Lloyd. Thank you for the, the sombrero that's been balancing on my head quite wobbly over the, <laughs> the earphones. It looks beautiful. I love it. Thank you. I might just have to rock this all day long. I think you should. I should. Yeah. yeah. I might still to, yeah, I might still dicks. So yeah, well, I think you need to. Thank you again for joining us and we'll be right back with Chamber Chat in a few minutes. Hi, this is Erica Tullis, Executive Director of the Breast Cancer Charities of America. The Breast Cancer Charities of America is a national nonprofit organization with our headquarters in the Woodlands, Texas. We focus on non-invasive breast cancer research and helping the true patient that is going through breast cancer. Through our Help Now Fund, we help women pay the rent and utilities while going through their breast cancer treatment. It's unlike any other program that truly is out there. We are here to help the woman. Our phone number is 936-231-8460. For more information or to get involved or to even make a donation, please visit our website, www.igopink.org. Hello, I'm Bonita DeRosa, Animal Control Officer for the City of Willis. We invite you to tune in to Lone Star Internet Radio every first and third Thursday of the month at 11 a.m. for the Willis Hour. On the first Thursday of the month, the Willis Hour will be covering upcoming events and news about the city. Join in the conversation with your city officials and other leaders in the community. On the third, we will be doing a recap of the last city council meeting. The mission of the City of Willis is to provide high quality services, accountability, and professional commitment to our citizens. We pledge to provide those who live, work, and visit our city an effective government that is open and responsive to the needs and values of the community. Again, we invite you to tune in on Lone Star Internet Radio every first and third Thursday of the month at 11 for the Willis Hour. Imagine a new mother has just delivered her first child and doctors decide to transport him to the neonatal intensive care unit of a specialty children's hospital 90 miles away. A young couple's world has just turned upside down and now they have to find a hotel for the next two months. Cadence Hope can help. Cadence Hope focuses on alleviating the unexpected financial burden associated with last minute travel, hotel arrangements, air travel for out of town family, gasoline credit cards, parking, groceries, and the list is endless. And all while worrying about the medical condition of their newborn child. Cadence Hope grew out of the very real life struggles and financial hardships faced by a young couple in California. A bed to sleep in, food to eat, parking, and other essential daily needs. You can help by joining Cadence Hope and providing a tax deductible contribution. Your generous support, when added to others, will help a family remain overnight near the hospital in a warm, safe hotel close to their child. To learn more, please visit CadenceHope.org. Cadence Hope, providing hope in the midst of trial. Put a smile on your face, a warm feeling in your heart, and tune in to the listener-friendly Mark and Cindy Show every weekday morning from 10 to 11 here on IRLoneStar.com. Do you have anything to add to that, Mark? Yeah, I'll scratch the listener-friendly part goes without saying. We're not going to be unfriendly with listeners because I'll quit listening and we'll be back to emceeing watermelon-tossing galas. I'm not doing that again, Cindy. Look, when somebody yells duck, 
You don't look over to see what's coming your way. You duck. Hey, it's a reflex from martial arts training. Anyway, I I'm not doing any more watermelon galas. Okay, catch us on our archives, YouTube, SoundCloud, and HBO. Right, HBO. We're on right after the Game of Thrones. Cindy, you are such a storyteller. I, I'd like to apologize for Cindy. She makes up stuff. I'm not. Human Body Odor, HBO. It's an experimental new community channel. The Market Cindy Show, every weekday at 10 o'clock. Join us here on IRLoneStar.com. Please. Welcome back to Chamber Chat with Samantha Good and Courtney Galley. We just finished talking with Lloyd Sandifer about the Conroe Professional Firefighters Association. And now we're going to talk about an upcoming event that the Chamber has called Taste Fest. Um, Taste Fest is an event where we invite local restaurants, breweries, and um, wineries to come in. And guests can come and get a tasting of uh, what they have to offer. And we have with us one of, our coach, one of my co-chairs of the event. Caroline Mason, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. And we'll have our other co-chair join us in a few minutes. Here um, he comes. Okay, great. Don Carpenter is going to be joining us in a few minutes. Um, and they're here to kind of talk about the event and what all the event has to offer and new things we're going to be doing this year. Um, so why don't you start off, Caroline, and tell us a little bit about a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I own Whitestone Printing. We've been uh, in business up here in the Conroe area since uh, 2007. My husband and I owned a printing company in Houston mm -hmm. um, starting back in 89. So we have uh, been in the printing business and promotional side of it for a number of years. And Morning. it's just great to get involved with the chamber and all of the fun things that the chamber does as well yeah. as serious things. And uh, we hope that a lot of people do come out to join us yes. at Taste Fest. Now, how long have you been involved with Taste Fest? Oh, my goodness. Um, about <laughs> seven years, I think. <laughs> um, it's, um, it's grown. Yeah. Uh, we've tried different things, yep. and uh, we're, we're to a point now where uh, we were uh, maxed out, I think, this year as far as uh, mm -hmm. booth vendors, oh, wow. which is a good thing. Yes, that's yes. exciting. We are, yeah. we are full. We are full. The convention center is full. Full. That is fantastic. Yes. yes. Those very are, excited. Those are nice words here in an yes. event like this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very yep. excited. Yep. And we're just uh, so excited that HEB is our uh, title sponsor yes. again and bringing their cooking connection. Yes. They just do an awesome job. Yeah. And uh, so we, I, I can't wait. Yeah. I just love the food. <laughs> yes. So um, do you want to give our uh, listeners just a little bit of detail about the cooking connections is that HEB has and kind of what they started they started this last year and kind of they're going to continue that this year kind of what to expect and kind of what it's kind of molded after if they if anybody has been shopping at HEB they mm -hmm. know about the cooking connection area mm -hmm. uh and it's where they whip up recipes and mm -hmm. good food and so yeah I've gotten uh, a few tasty recipes from there uh, me too yeah <laughs> buying pull little cards uh-huh yeah oh yeah so uh this year they're gonna do the same thing come mm -hmm. out bring food uh, and the little lady just, she absolutely loves doing this. Oh, that's and so neat. you give her a mic and she is. She just goes for <laughs> it. She goes for it. <laughs> well, great. And we are very thankful for HEB being, um, H -E -B being our title sponsor again this year um, and having that, um, that cooking connection because it brings a lot to the event. Um, we have a couple of um, other kind of features of the event this year. Um, last year we started with a, a food drive, and we're going to have that again. Can you give a little bit of detailed information about that? Yes. Um, the food bank is always looking for canned goods and uh, food. And last year we had everybody bring a canned good to mm -hmm. get in the door. This year uh, we just would like them to bring mm -hmm. a canned good of any kind. Mm -hmm. uh, they will have receptacles out there to put uh, the cans mm -hmm. in, and so then they'll take them back to the food bank after yeah. that. And you can um, drop your business card in if you bring in a canned good. Um, and then the Montgomery County Food Bank is going to su um, supply us a prize to the to the winner. Ooh, oh, that's yeah. fantastic. So they'll get, so they'll get something for it. But mm -hmm. um, but just, you know, out of the goodness of your heart, bring some canned good items in and uh, support our great food bank that we have in the county. So. Yes, yes. Because yeah. a lot of times food drives are around Thanksgiving or right. around holidays. So we really want to do our part to, to help with that. Yes, definitely. You're around. You're yes. And you don't think, I mean, you think of May. I mean, mm -hmm. so I think, you know, it'll be good. And, you know, we want to help support them. So hopefully we can continue this year after year mm -hmm. as a part of the event. Um, 
And uh, I know another thing that um, we're featuring this year is the Conroe ISD Culinary Students. Now, the, oh. did they come last year? No. I don't believe so. No. This is something okay. new. It's, it's a, a program that yep. uh, Conroe ISD has, and it's uh, getting young folks in high school that may want to go into the restaurant business. Mm-hmm. And so they have... Um, they cook for people. They put together recipes. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Um, and the restaurants, uh, Restaurant Association here in Montgomery County mm-hmm. um, is active in that and helping them uh, mold mm-hmm. their future so that once they graduate, if they want to or if they want to work part time, the restaurants are eager to get these kids yeah. because they have been through some of these courses. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people know that, know that CISD has that kind of a program. No, I definitely didn't know that. I, I didn't either. And it's, I mean, to have that in this community is just so great. Mm-hmm. And we're real excited to have them as a feature at Taste Fest. And I know they're going to be making some desserts. We'll Ooh. wait. We'll, we're going to wait until the day of, so, <laughs> but they're going to be good. Um, so come out and support your, your students in that um organization and come out and see see um i'm pretty sure they're gonna have some good food i think they will yeah so those are kind of a couple unique things that are going to be happening here at taste fest so thank you for giving us that information um don do you want to join us oh you guys are doing great oh come on oh, he does <laughs> come on there's room for you over here yes come on Don Carpenter, who um, runs the Lone Star Convention Center, is the other co-chair of Taste Fest. We'll get him all mic'd up here. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Carpenter. Glad to be here. Appreciate it's always it. a pleasure. Now, how long have you been involved with Taste Fest? I've been involved with Taste Fest actually since its inception. It started out as a another or, another part of the chamber. Uh, they used to do a culinary connection type deal or an Epicurean dinner. Yeah. And so they did that for, you know, many years when I first came here. I've been here, uh, this is my 18th year. Oh, here wow. At the, uh, uh, here with the convention center, even though it wasn't built 18 years ago. <laughs> but we've been working with the chamber ever since. But anyway, it started out as uh, Epicurean uh, deal uh, that, was, that was held. And uh, we uh, kind of took a look at it over the period of years and made a change. And... Uh, Went from the Epicurean, uh, I'm trying to remember the exact name of it, but it was the Epicurean Delight, I believe it was. And mm-hmm. then we uh, ended up uh, trying some new things mm-hmm. uh, to to uh, to uh, make it a little bit larger and uh, did a thing called Bites to Business. Mm-hmm. That's where we combined the Expo, the Chamber Expo, mm-hmm. and the Epicurean uh, Dinner, uh, Delight, and uh, put it together and... Did that for a few years, and it started out, you know, it started out to mm-hmm. be a pretty good deal. And then we saw it would be advantageous to us to split them up, mm-hmm. and so then we started Taste Fest, rebranded yeah. it, and uh, and it's really grown and done yeah. very well over the years. Pretty exciting. Um, the um, you know, it's like everything else. You kind of start out small and right. and build it up, and here we are right now. As you said, we basically sold everything yep. out, and that's exactly what we wanted to do. Exactly, yeah. And I just want to give um, kind of a big thanks to Caroline and Don. This is my first year um, overseeing the event, and y'all have been such a great help. I, I appreciate y'all's expertise um, and y'all's support through it. Um, this event could not be possible without them. They They go out and bust the pavement and get restaurants to come in sell tickets they really do a lot i mean we have i have a great committee um as well and they go out and they really do they they get all the restaurants out i don't do very much of that and so without them and without the committee this event could not be possible so i just wanted to let y'all know i'm very appreciative of all of y'all's help with this because well, it's a great event. great job y'all thank you it's, yes. it's, it's, it's a great event it's a lot it of is. fun it's something that we look forward to every year yeah um you know the convention center is set up well for it. It and, is, and it's, yeah. Uh, it's a great location. Uh, everyone that comes is very complimentary and has had a good time. Yeah. And, and you know we talk about this year round. Yeah. Do you want to? Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm just like firing off questions because I know all about the event. Samantha, do you have anything you want to um, want to ask them about? You guys have talked about a lot of stuff, but. One of the things that I'm sure I would love to know if I was listening is where all I could buy tickets. Oh, yeah. I know that I know where I yes. can buy tickets, but I want to tell you where y'all can buy tickets. Uh, well, I can answer that for you. You can buy tickets at Conroe.org, which is the Chamber's website, at the Chamber, or at HEB in Conroe, or at Gold's Gym. 
So oh, that's, we have those a, are some Gold's Gym is a new location yeah. this year. Yes. So you can't miss it. You got it. Tickets are $15 for adults. Mm-hmm. $5 for children ages five and under. Okay. I mean, 12 and under. Sorry. And then if you, two adult ticket prices is 15. So uh, it's 25. So you save money on that. Okay. That's and fantastic. so, I mean, basically you're getting $15 worth of tickets for a whole I mean you will you're not going to leave hungry coming to this if I'm I mean, a, if I was a business would are there any like discounted ticket packages for businesses yes there are Don you want to tell them about that absolutely we have several different ticket ticket packages available we have the Epicurean uh, package which is 275 dollars and that includes 25 tickets mm-hmm. uh, we have the connoisseur which is 230 dollars which includes 20 tickets uh, the gourmet, which is one hundred and eighty dollars, which includes fifteen tickets, and the bon appetite, mm-hmm. appetite, <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, the bon appetite, which is one hundred and twenty-five dollars, it uh, includes ten tickets. Mm-hmm. So you can see right there about you know you're getting uh, tickets for twelve dollars and fifty cents on the bon right. appetite package. So all right. of these oh, are discounted really over yeah. the deal, and it's a great opportunity for businesses to buy these packages and give them out to their employees. Right. Because uh, a lot of folks uh, have had a lot of fun doing this. One of the things that I do enjoy about Taste Fest is I see so many people that I've never seen before. And, you know, being with the convention mm-hmm. center and all the different events that we're fortunate and get to do, it's always pretty exciting when you walk in there and you look around and you go, man, there's a lot of people here and I don't know anybody. <laughs> and uh, while I do know a lot of people at Taste Fest, there's so many people there yeah. that, that I don't know and that's always a good deal yeah oh that's great um what about families should families come out for this event absolutely you know it's yeah. a great family event uh you know uh I just don't know of anybody that doesn't come there that in, you know and, and yeah. enjoy their self yeah you know one of the things that I always like to tell everybody to do is you know this is a tasting mm-hmm. it's real easy to hang around one booth and get full but then you don't get the opportunity right. to to eat all the food and and you know I guess everybody can kind of look at my bill and know I'm somewhat of a professional <laughs> eater I wish it was an Olympic sport it I kind do, of is I do feel like I, I would join that as well <laughs> but uh one of the other things too with all the different samples you know we try to mm-hmm. get people to basically do about a two inch sample and have everybody come yeah. in and and try everything there's things there's things there that you may not normally try and you taste right. it and go wow this is great or oh my god this restaurant is in our community as well yeah one of the things i know that you will be able to try is candied bacon from yes. all-star i know they're gonna they've already committed to having that because yes. we begged them to have it after yes. last year all-star so catering try that if it may not sound appealing, but it is delicious. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So you'll have to go by there both for sure. Yes. Uh, another thing that I also like to uh, to remind people about is there's so many new people in our county. Yes. And a lot of folks do not know where these restaurants are. Exactly. And yes. Uh, one of our staples in the community has been uh, McKenzie's Barbecue. Yep. And uh, I know Darren's tired of hearing this story, but <laughs> when somebody walks up to him who's been in, in the same location for, I think, pretty close to 15 20 years and yeah. says now where are you located at <laughs> ever since that ever since that question Darren's been a you know big supporter of Taste Fest yeah well that's right do you want to tell um our listeners uh, um some of the restaurants are going to be there we I mean we have oh, oh almost 40 restaurants we don't have time to list all of them but maybe list a couple of them that are you know that are maybe coming back this year, a couple of new ones. Uh, let's see. We have Manny's Barbecue coming in. We That's have, a new restaurant. Right. Mm-hmm. Ryan's Steakhouse. Yep. Um, we'll have... Um, uh, Raisin Cane. Raisin Cane. Yeah, that's they're a new They're new this one. year, um, yes. Mm-hmm. Pizza Shack, uh, they're new. That's a, that's a new one. Yes, yeah. yes. Not new in the community. They've been right. here forever, but they're new for Taste Fest. New yes. to Taste right. Fest and new, and new to, to the, the chamber. chamber. Right, yes. and coming back will be Dickie's Barbecue. Yeah. Berry Hills is a new one. Yeah, Berry Hill that's down in the woodlands, right. but it's coming up here. Yeah, they have great food. Yeah, great and food. so, you know, that's some of the uh, just kind of Candyland Sweets. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Chili's. Chili's, Chili's, yes. That'll be, it'll be their first year here. Yeah. Uh, Russo's, the p- pizza, year, uh-huh. yes. And off the top of my head, that's the ones that I can think yeah. of that are going to be new here this year. Yeah. And then, of course, we have some of our old faithfuls, and right. And we appreciate having those guys around yeah. because they're certainly staples in the community as right. well as in the restaurant business. And besides restaurant, we'll have um, 
a brewery, a uh, Southern Star Brewery will be there. We'll have Bernhardt Winery also there. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but you also, as entry into the event with your ticket, you get two free drink tickets. So you can come and get a spirit if you want. Uh, we'll have wine available, beer available, and, uh, as well as soda and water for guests. Sure. But you can visit Southern Star and Bernhardt Winery to get a little tasting of what they offer too. And for those coffee drinkers, we have yes. uh, we have a new. Uh, a new member, or I'm not, I shouldn't say a new member, a new person to Taste Fest is Coffee by Linda. Mm-hmm. Yes, she oh, has that organo, organo gold. gold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, so you can do that as well. So as you can see, there's going to be a variety of restaurants there, um, entrees, appetizers, desserts, um, lots of drinks and, and everything there. Um, plus, you can be able to support the food bank, um, kind of support your CISD students out there with the culinary arts program that's going to be there. Um, and then um, also to be able to see the HEB cooking connections. Um, is there anything y'all want to add about the event or kind of tell people that, you know, that tickets are on sale now, so mm-hmm. you can purchase purchase tickets, get your tickets. Don't You can buy them the night of. There's not a difference in price the night of, but go ahead and purchase them and make sure you have them in hand when you get there. And so, again, do you want to recap the, the date and yes. the time? It's Thursday, May 14th, so a week from this Thursday from 8 to 5 p- from 5 to 8 p.m., coffee still needs to kick in here at the Lone Star Convention Center which is on Airport Road here in Conroe. 9055 Airport Road. There you go and if you um, want to purchase tickets Conroe.org come by the chamber at 505 West Davis HEB or Gold's Gym. Fantastic. Come, come by come hungry plan on having a good time because yes. you're gonna have fun. Yes. Thank y'all so much for being here today. Um, and again thank y'all for y'all support of the chamber and support of this event and we look forward to Seeing everybody out at Taste Fest next Thursday. Again, Conrad.org, Chamber, H-E-B, Gold's Gym. Love to see you out there. We'll be back with Chamber Chat in a few minutes.